Hi everyone and welcome back. This particular saw you see here is the Evolution S380 CPS 15 inch metal cutting chop saw. So a little over a year ago I had purchased the Evo Rage 4 which is a 7 inch chop saw. I will post a thumbnail for it at the end of this video if you're interested in watching that. The main issue I had with the Rage 4 was its flimsy base which twisted under pressure after tightening material to the fence which made it challenging when cutting pieces at 45 degrees than having to fill in the nasty gaps between the pieces. So I had put up enough with the Rage 4 and finally ditched it and decided to get the S380. First impressions pulling the S380 out of the box is how heavy duty it feels. This indeed is a very nice chop saw. Not only does it take care of the problems holding pieces at an angle, it also makes cutting thicker material a whole lot easier with the 15 amp motor instead of the 10 from the Rage 4. Now both do make the same quality cuts with no heater burrs, but this particular one comes with a heavy duty industrial quality base and fence and the vise is a lot easier to tighten and release the material you're cutting. This pin drops into the angles that you select here in these holes. Just with the pin itself, it secures the fence fairly well. To further tighten things up, you just turn the knob all the way. And the vise is so much easier to work on than the Rage 4, where you had to turn it all the way to go forward and back. The Allen wrench allows you to adjust the fence to a backwards or forwards position. That's better for larger pieces when the blade needs to dig deeper into the material. Here's an example of cutting a small piece of angle iron. I believe this is an inch by one inch angle. I use a block of wood to secure the piece to the fence, something I also did on the Rage 4 in trying to make those cuts as accurately as I could. But I end up spending so much time in making sure those cuts were accurate with that particular fence. It just ended up being a big waste of time. And if you're making four cuts to make a square, all you need is one corner off to waste your time filling in more gaps. As you see here, it's so much easier to use the vise. On the Rage 4, you have to turn it all the way to go forward and all the way to go back. And you have that lever that you just lift it up and you just push it all the way forward or pull it all the way back. Of course, there's a pretty significant difference in cost between these two saws and I can honestly say after using it for almost a year now, it was definitely worth it. I wish I would have invested the money I spent on a Rage 4 for this saw. I hope this information in this video helped you in your decision. Thank you for watching. God bless.